Sharon DiGiulio back again with some free art lessons on encaustic painting. This, this part um, incorporates the FW ink, so you can use any kind of India ink, any kind of acrylic ink, or um, whatever you have in your studio is fine. Now this again will make it a mixed media project, but um, it's another fun thing to do. Um, this one here is just black ink, and what you wanna do is just sort of make marks on here. You don't want to um, cover the entire surface because remember, acrylic and encaustic don't really mix together. But if you use it sort of in a watercolor fashion, or a, um, you know, just sort of a sporadic sort of mark making thing, then you're good to go. Um, I'm just kind of making some marks on here. And normally what I do with these is I paint them right onto the surface. And here I'm using encaustic board. And I'm just making, um, I'm just making little marks to start out with because I can. I can, um, I'm in my sandbox, remember. So I'm just playing around. Now what you can do is set this aside and let it dry completely overnight. Or if you're impatient like me, then you can use your heat gun. And what I want to do is just dry the surface here. And sometimes this makes the, the ink crack. Um, sometimes it'll push it around. If, I, if you blow too hard on it, then it's obviously going to go somewhere else that you maybe don't want it to go. So again, this is another practice in patience. Um, but you can do like 10 of these at one time and then um, just come back to them the next morning. Again, it's just a different way to deal with your surface. Once this is completely dry, um, which it's not going to get right this way, but um, once this is completely dry, then you just want to come over top of it and treat it like an unprimed surface. And you want to prime it your three ways, prime it this way, dry it, prime it the next way, do your cross hatching. And, um, and then you can use that as your base. This one right here is a finished piece, not a f completely finished piece, but finished with this project where I had the um, a regular uh, board and then I put the uh, encaustic gesso down and let that dry. And then I put the ink on top of that surface and sort of manipulated the surface to get these sort of streaky marks. And then I've primed this. So this is just another way to start. And um, a lot of times I like it when my pieces, my uh, surfaces sort of speak to me and kind of give me guidelines of what it's trying to help me to make it do. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much for coming back for another free art lesson with Sharon DiGiulio. If you'd like to see more, visit me on the web at www.digiuliostudios.com.